There's some interesting stuff on Elon's Twitter feed that I think deserves a little more attention. There actually may be a reason to be seriously concerned. I don't usually take all of his tweets that seriously, but this one really caught my attention and got me thinking that this actually might not be a good idea. Let me go grab my coffee before we get plugged in. I'll be right back. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. Before we begin with today's video, I wanted to take a brief moment to thank all of you who are watching my videos right now. My channel just hit a milestone by passing the first 100 subscribers and at the time of recording this video, we are already at 156. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how fast this channel is growing and it's all thanks to you guys. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I cover topics around EVs and technology and have mostly been focused on Tesla. Consider subscribing to my channel to become a part of an awesome community that is growing really, really fast. And to those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Okay, so now let's get on with today's video then. Those of us who have been following Elon for years and his journey with Tesla and other companies such as SpaceX would know that he is an amazing guy who is not afraid to speak his mind and give his opinions. I think Mars should really have great bars. <laughs> um. Mars bar. <laughs> Sometimes his things don't make a whole lot of sense at first, but you gotta learn to take them with a grain of salt. Everyone in this room is inspired by you. Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how does the business plan work? I don't really have a business plan. <laughs> <laughs> Minds like his don't operate the same way or on the same level as an average person's mind does. I have an enormous amount of respect for him which is why speaking about this is not that easy for me. But it has to be discussed because this could result in casualties. Yes, people could actually die if this is not handled properly. And of course, as you can probably already tell from the title of this video, I'm talking about a recent tweet from Elon about a new type of game that is similar to games like Pokemon Go, which according to Elon is coming in Tesla cars soon. And if you missed it, here's what that thread was about in a nutshell. So Elon went on Twitter asking, quote, anyone think they can get a good multiplayer Minecraft working on Teslas? Or maybe create a game that interacts virtually with reality like Pokemon Go while driving safely, like a complex version of Pac-Man or Mario Kart. Well, at first this might seem like a great idea, which it is, but while we are still figuring out our way to level 5 autonomy, games should be inactive and remain inactive while driving even on autopilot. Just like you can't pair your phone with your car on Bluetooth when driving, similarly games should work the same way, for now at least. Augmented reality games in Tesla vehicles sounds like a lot of fun, but they pose a very high risk. I think Tesla should be more focused on getting autopilot to level 5 or at least level 4 before bringing augmented reality games into their vehicles that can distract the driver from keeping an eye on the road. It's pretty much the same as being on your phone while driving and it's not too far from sleeping on autopilot. Although it's not the same thing but you get the point. Tesla's autopilot feature has safety measures that you as a driver have to follow to ensure the safe operation of your vehicle. Things like keeping one hand on the steering wheel and paying attention to the road which should in my opinion be obvious when operating vehicle with level 2 autonomy. Yes, Tesla still is operating at level 2 and slowly getting better and better at it and will possibly jump straight to level 4. I know how badly people want cars to drive themselves without having to do anything at all other than punching in your destination or possibly even using voice commands and then just enjoying the ride. Trust me guys, I want this as bad as you do. I would love to be driven around in a Tesla while playing video games or sleeping in the car to get some rest before arriving at my destination. But sadly, I think those days are still months if not years ahead in the future. So because Tesla is currently operating at level 2 autonomy, let me quickly explain what that means. If you own a Tesla, you should already know this, but here's a quick refresher. Vehicles operating at level 2 autonomy manage both your speed and your steering under certain conditions, such as highway driving. They will match your speed to the speed of traffic ahead of you and follow the curves in the road in ideal conditions. But the driver must still pay attention to driving conditions at all times and take over immediately if the conditions exceed the system's limitations, of which there are many. So guys, let's just be honest here. I know it sucks to not have level 5 cars yet, but trust me when I say this. 
Level 5 is much, much more difficult than even Elon himself had imagined. Don't buy into the hype that these are full self-driving cars. They're not yet. They can only drive themselves at certain times under certain conditions. And that's it, for now at least. We will get to level 5 eventually and it may take longer than anyone had ever anticipated because what we are essentially talking about here is cars operating beyond human capabilities with no mistakes in any conditions. That's not an easy task because as we know quite well, the real world conditions are unpredictable and the driving conditions can change very, very quickly. So in a nutshell, the full self-driving computer inside the vehicle has to be able to handle situations at any given point in time and make decisions a lot faster than humans in order for it to be 100% safe for not just for yourself, but to everyone else around you who are sharing the role with you. Furthermore, I think Tesla should roll out full self-driving in robotaxis in stages. For instance, they could initially allocate a specific area in which the robotaxis would operate and then geofence the area to prevent vehicles from leaving the designated zone. Another thing that Tesla could implement to help with public safety is to have redundancies such as remote human intervention to take over immediately when needed. One issue with this though is that just like with any remotely operated service, Service or the internet, there is always a delay. So this delay can vary from less than a second to several seconds, depending on how good the signal is in any given spot. This will greatly impact the reaction time of the person taking over the control of the vehicle. So it may not be useful to prevent accidents, but it may be useful in other circumstances such as when the vehicle gets stuck somewhere and is blocking traffic, or an unauthorized person is trying to take control of the vehicle. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I think the FSD and Robotaxi rollout deserves its own episode. So let me know if you guys are interested in this. You should check out my video about this one Amazon Prime original show called Upload right here. I made a little review video about it from an EV slash tech point of view. Funny enough, the show is based in the not so distant future in 2033, which is right around the corner. Well, sort of. So in the show, they have fully self-driving cars that are commonly known to never crash or get into an accident of any sort. I'm not gonna spoil anything about the show here, so go check out the video. But be warned, it does have some spoilers in it too, so yeah. If you're planning to watch the show, then maybe don't watch the video yet. Otherwise, go ahead and watch it. There's some pretty good stuff there to feed your curiosity about EVs and autonomous cars that will perhaps soon be a reality. Okay, but enough about me ranting about my own opinions on things. What about you guys? What do you think about games in today's Tesla cars? Do you think games are safe when driving on autopilot? Let me know down in the comment below as I would love to know what you guys think about all of this. And before you go, hit that like button if you like this video. It only takes a second of your time but it helps a lot more than you can imagine. And consider subscribing if you haven't already if you want to see more videos like this. It will help the channel enormously to grow a community of Tesla and EV enthusiasts. Alright guys, that's it for today's video but remember to keep charging ahead and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe and take care.